Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. I despise it when people try to generalize an entire generation like the X generation or the me generation or the Y generation or the Z generation or the millennial generation. I, I really don't like that. Every generation honestly has some problems. And one of the problems that every generation has is laziness. Now listen to verse 4 of Proverbs chapter 10. A slack hand, a lazy hand, causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Now, young people, if you think you're going to get ahead because you're charming, it doesn't say the charming personality makes rich. Young people, if you think that you can just coast by and you want to have plenty of time for your gimmicks and you want to have plenty of time to party and you want to have plenty of time to go to the mall and plenty of time for milk teas and frappuccinos, I'm sorry, you're not going to get ahead in life. Paul is clear that the glory of a young person is their strength. You can work. You don't have a lot of wisdom yet, but you can work. I want to challenge you, young people. Use your greatest asset. It's your strength. Use the greatest asset that you have. Go to work early. Work hard until you run out of work. And then go to your boss and say, sir, ma'am, I'm already done. Is there more that I can do? You say, well, they don't pay me enough to act like that. Then you're never going to prosper. You should always go well beyond what is expected. And the hand of the diligent makes rich. I, I almost get irritated with preachers who go around and act like all you have to do is tithe and sow seed and you get rich. Because oftentimes they do that because they're just trying to raise money from you. I'm a pastor. Tithing is a piece of it. Sowing seed is a piece of it. But um, the hand of the diligent. Do you want to prosper in life? Do you want to get ahead in life? Work hard. <laughs>